Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina. My channel is A Catholic Wife. In today's video, I'm going to give you just a little preview of an upcoming series that I'm working on. And it's going to be about the Latin Mass. That is a very broad topic to talk about in one video and I just wanted to break it up into multiple videos. So this is just a sneak peek of what's going to be coming. I'm going to be talking to you about why I left the Novus Ordo Mass. So that's probably the Mass that you're more familiar with. The things that I love about the Latin Mass, what it's like your first time going to the Latin Mass, my thoughts on veiling, also what to expect during your first Mass things that you might want to consider looking into before your first Mass, the Missal that you should use, the contrast between teenagers attending a Life Teen Mass or the extraordinary form of the Mass, and just more of an insight into the Latin Mass, what it's about, what it's not about, some misconceptions about it. So those are gonna be videos that are gonna be coming up on my channel, and I hope you'll come back for those. But in this one, I wanted to just talk to you primarily about the reason why we stopped attending the Novus Ordo, which is the new Mass, and the reasons why we just decided as a family it was better for us to just stop attending that particular Mass. This video is about my feelings about the Novus Ordo. It is of no judgment if that is the Mass that you prefer, if that is the only Mass that is local to you. It is not me saying I'm a better Catholic because I go to the extraordinary form. Absolutely not. So please don't misunderstand what I'm trying to say here. I'm just explaining my feelings about the Novus Ordo in the area that I happen to live in. So you might live in an area that has the Novus Ordo and it's a beautiful, reverent, holy mass. And if that's the case, then that's wonderful. And I'm very, you know, thankful that you have that. But that really was not the experience that we had here where we live. So quick recap of my story so you know that I'm a cradle Catholic. I was Catholic basically in name only, really came back into the church fully, never left the church probably 10 years ago. And in that 10 years, we only went to the Novus Ordo. That's what my husband and I grew up on. That's all we knew. We had a Latin mass where we used to live that was probably, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes away from where we attended mass and we attended at the cathedral just never got there. We never went to the Latin. It was something that was kind of intimidating. And I don't know if maybe other people feel like that as well, but we were intimidated by the Latin mass and we, we were familiar and comfortable with the Novus Ordo. So that's what we did. We raised our kids that way. All our sacraments were that way. We were married in the Novus Ordo. Children were baptized that way. So there was no Latin. We had no exposure to the Latin mass. I did start veiling while we were attending the Novus Ordo, something that I felt that the Lord was calling me to do. And I have been veiling for, I would guess maybe five to seven years, somewhere in there. And it was something that only I did. My children did not veil. So I was the only one doing it. And in a Novus Ordo parish where we were, there was probably maybe four other ladies that veiled so it was definitely something that was not the norm. Whereas if you go to the Latin mass, that's predominantly what you're going to see is women and children veiling, female children, obviously. So the reasons why we decided when we moved here, and we live in the Bible Belt, so just a little perspective as to where we are in the country. And shocking that it would take us moving to the Bible Belt to get to the Latin mass, but anyway. The masses that we have attended here where we live and the closest Catholic churches to where we live are anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour away. Typical Novus Ordo Mass. We checked out the masses that were available in our proximity to where we live. There was a lot of irreverence to the Lord and to the Mass. And it was definitely something that was a near occasion of sin for my husband and for myself and our children as well. And the more we were attending, and we, we had jumped from a few churches in the area, Catholic churches, obviously, in the area, to try to find a really holy and reverent Mass. Not because we think we're better than, like we're, you know, superstar Catholics or anything like that. It had nothing to do with that. We just wanted a Mass that was totally Christ-centered 
not people-centered. And sadly, that's what we have found with the Novus Ordo. Now, I'm sure that there are reverent Novus Ordo masses out there. I, I have no doubt. But I would say, and from the people that I talk to, and I have friends that are traditionally minded like we are, people that are more interested in like a life teen type of a mass. And so I, I have talked to other people and there have been pretty much an equal consensus that there is a definite switch in the mass as far as reverence to the Lord. Now the Novus Ordo Mass, just to contrast it, just briefly contrast it, and again, like I said, I'm going to address these things in individual videos because I think it's such a wide topic to talk about, but in this little quick little snippet that I'm going to talk about here, the Latin Mass, to me, is entirely Christ-focused. It isn't about entertainment. And that's a lot of what I felt at the Novus Ordo. And I'm only speaking about my personal experiences at Mass in the area that I happen to live in. It's a lot of entertainment. It's a lot of guitars and pianos and secular music, Protestant music. It's a lot of Protestant type behaviors, the hand-holding in Mass, the um, irreverence that's shown to receiving the Eucharist, the overuse of extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion. That particular topic is something that I will talk about in a future video in, in more detail. But to me, the overuse of extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, I'm just going to be frank and blunt in how I feel. If you share my opinions, great. If you don't, that's okay too. But it just, to me, cheapens the priesthood and it diminishes people's ability to understand and appreciate the real presence in the Eucharist. When people, lay people, can just stand shoulder to shoulder with a priest and distribute the body of Christ. It just really was troubling to me. And it was something, it was one of the many reasons why we decided to stop attending the Novus Ordo Mass. Now, I'm not saying we're never going to be in a Novus Ordo again. It's probably something that's not realistic to think that we're never in our lifetime going to go to another Novus Ordo Mass. But for as long as we're able and it's available to us, we're going to attend the extraordinary form. So just a little contrast. The, just the difference between how the, the priests posture in the Mass. So the Novus Ordo, the priest is facing the congregation, facing the laity. Whereas in the Latin Mass, the priest is facing the Lord. He's facing east. He is facing with the people towards the Lord. And all our prayers are kind of focused up through him. And it's so beautiful to me. Because to me, when the priest is facing us, our focus is on him. Now, I don't know how anybody else feels about it. And... I'm just going to, again, be very blunt in this video, and I hope that you all understand where my heart is coming from. It is not a judgment or a condemnation or I'm better, I'm a better Catholic than anybody else. I'm not. I'm a sinner just like anybody else, and all I want to do is love the Lord, teach my children what they need to, to know, and do it in the most holy and reverent way possible throughout my life, but especially in the Mass. So to me... The Mass has nothing really to do with me, or you, or the priest. The sole purpose of the Mass, whether it's the Novus Ordo Mass or the Extraordinary Form, is to worship Christ. That's it. So if we get nothing else out of the Mass, because you'll hear people say the homily was horrible, the music was horrible, the whatever happened happened and it was terrible and I didn't get anything out of it and it's just the same thing over and over again. To me, it's just almost silly things to think about because the Mass really isn't about us. It's not about entertainment. It's not about the homily. It's not about any of the things that people typically will complain about, about why they don't like the Mass or what they didn't get out of the Mass or, or it's very focused on us as people rather than it being Christ focused. So I think that the Latin Mass 
takes away a lot of that people-centeredness of the Novus Ordo. The Novus Ordo, again, in our area, what my experience is, is try to get as many people involved as possible. That's why you'll see, now the word is extraordinary. So in extraordinary situations, these people would be utilized. But more than not, it's the same 10 people in our particular area every Sunday, whether there were 50 people or there were 500 people. How is that extraordinary if you have people printed on a schedule in the bulletin? It's not. It's just another way to get everybody feeling like they have to be included and like a participation ribbon is earned. There are purposes for the people in the church. I just don't see the purpose within the Mass. And that's why the Latin Mass resonates so deeply with me and I love it so much because it isn't about us. It isn't about extraordinary ministers of communion. It isn't about the lector. It isn't about the music, although the music in the extraordinary form is beautiful. It isn't about any of that. And if all of that went away, it doesn't take away our worship of the Lord. And the Latin forces, for lack of a better word, our attention towards Christ. It isn't people-centered. It isn't the priest is not the center of our liturgy. It is completely Christ-centered. And that is what really makes me forces my mind because it, it can wander and it can tend to think about things like the EMs or the music or all the things. I'm a human person. I see all the things and it's very hard to stay focused when there's chaos around you. When you walk into the Latin Mass, it's quiet. People are be able to pray the rosary or just offer prayers and it's very reverent. And you know, I think if we always keep in our mind, whether we're at the Latin Mass, at a Novus Ordo Mass, any time that we are experiencing the holy sacrifice of the Mass, to picture ourselves at the foot of the cross, would we then want to be entertained? Would we want handshaking and the sign of peace and walking across the church and just treating it more like a gathering of, like you're at you know, a gathering of friends or something. If you were standing at the foot of the cross when our Lord was being crucified, would you have been happy in that way? If you were standing at the foot of the cross, how would it change your behavior? How would it change your mind and the way that what you are witnessing? Because that's what we're witnessing. And so much about the Catholic Church is what we see, what we hear, that you smell the incense, different things, to try to reorient your mind as to where we are and what we are experiencing. It's the representation of what happened to Christ. And if we keep that at the focus, it won't matter if we're at the Novus Order or we're at the Latin. It's just much easier for me personally to orient myself back to that place when I'm in the Latin Mass. So I just wanted to share just this quick little snippet, just reasons why we made the decision as a family to step away, step back from the Novus Ordo and to primarily only go to the Latin Mass. It is a huge commitment for us. Like I mentioned, we live in the Bible Belt. It's not like the Latin Mass is available even in places that are not, you know, rural areas in the Bible Belt. Um, a lot of churches don't offer it at all. So we drive three hours round trip every Sunday to go to the Latin Mass. And that's not a pat on the back or that's not that makes us special or anything like that it's just so important to us so it is an expense it is an expense of time money wear and tear on the vehicle just all the things but it's so worth it for what it does for us individually as as people in our family and as our family as a whole i think it's bringing us closer to closer to christ being able to worship him properly and to just transform our minds during that time to be totally Christ-centered and focus on worshiping Him and giving Him thanks for all the blessings that He has given us. And in this small way that we can be present to worship Him in such a holy and beautiful place. 
So I just wanna encourage you, if you have a Latin Mass that's near you, don't be intimidated. I'm gonna do a video just walking you through the steps of as a new person, what to expect, what it's about, and I hope you'll come back for that. But if it's available to you, please just go one time. I'm going to link some things down in the description box below of other videos that explain the Latin Mass, what it is, what it isn't, and there's obviously people that are way better versed in all things Catholic than I am. I'm just a wife and a mom and explaining things from my perspective and hoping that it helps somebody else. So if you have been intimidated by the Latin Mass, I beg you, just try it. You don't have to do anything else, but just go and be present and just imagine yourself at the foot of the cross and everything else, just let it fade away. And that's what's so beautiful to me about the Latin Mass is that it's all up towards the Lord. It's just focused up through the priest and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful time and I look forward to it every week. And I really hope that you will give the Latin Mass just, just a look, just see. See if it's something that could help you in your journey. And if you like this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified on my next video. So I will talk to you all later. God bless you all, and thank you for coming to hang out with me for a little while to hear my reasons on why we stopped attending the Nova Sordo. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. God bless.